Hi guys, this is Josh. In this video, we're going to create a quick profile image for YouTube. Here we go. So I've created a new YouTube channel for Pomeroy Gaming. I'm involved in a lot of different things. I have a lot of different interests, but I want to organize them and arrange them in a way that the people who are interested in following a specific kind of content can do so. So this will be different than my own channel. I also have a channel for my business that is about graphic design and creative applications and those kinds of things. So check those out in the description on this video as well as in my channel list. But what I want to do is create the little image that will go right here for this YouTube channel. It's for gaming. And what I want to do is, first of all, I want to grab this color, the YouTube red color. And I'm going to use Colorzilla to do that. So let's grab it from here, just a Google image search. I'm going to grab this color and it's going to copy it to the clipboard. Now I'm going to go into Google Drawings and we're going to format this to a square. So under File, go to Page Setup and change it to Custom. And I'm just going to do, I guess we'll do pixels and just make it uh, 960 by 960, just a square. And I'm going to make the background my custom color that is copied now to the clipboard. There it is. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this logo that I created previously. I've loaded it into Google Drawings as a WMF so that it is an editable vector shape. I can grab it, I can change its color, etc. So you can see it's actually in pieces here. I'm going to select all of it and copy it and paste it into my new document here. Zoom out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing shrink it down and center it up. Maybe give ourselves a little bit more room. There we go. And I'm actually going to make this the same red color and then everything else is going to be white. So I can just select those pieces, make them white. I want that box to be white just like that. I think that's good. All right, that's all I need. And the channel's called gaming, so I don't need to put gaming in the profile image. And I'm going to download that as a PNG. All right. And then we will customize our channel. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and create a new slide. It changed the background color. Let's copy this from Colorzilla first. We want that red color, copy, custom, paste it in here. There it is. We have a little bit of a, a texture, just some visual interest there. I like using that. Some kind of just architectural, looks maybe a little bit futuristic or something. And then let's go back here and open our logo. Make sure that gets in the channel art. So what I did is created a Google Slides document that is the final dimensions that I want the channel art to be. And I believe that is, let me go to pixels, 2560 by 1440, which is what YouTube says it should be. I'm just going to paste in the logo, center it up on my page here. I also have a, a YouTube art template, which Google provides. I think they have it on their blog somewhere, but basically it's just a way to line up everything to make sure that everything that needs to be displayed gets on the screen. And I'm just gonna copy that image to the clipboard and paste it into my Google Slides document and use it as a guide. Size it up to the full width. There we go. Move it to the back. And I can also go into format options, adjustments, and make it transparent, semi-transparent, just so I can see everything I need to see. So I'm, I'm gonna have to make this a little bit smaller. And I believe I used Proxima Nova for this logo. So I'm gonna insert some word art and put in the word gaming. And I'll change that to Proxima Nova Extra Bold. Take the outline off, make it white. And we'll size it up to the height of our logo there. Yeah, maybe it doesn't need to be that big. I 
scooch it over just a little bit more and then maybe we'll just put a vertical line between that and make it not quite white and give it maybe four points we'll distribute that evenly I like that so now we know everything's gonna fit in the the smallest area there um, and I like that pretty simple so I'm gonna save this download it as a PNG this is great it shows us what it looks like on desktop TV and mobile and that all looks really good we'll just click select to make sure that auto enhance is not on because we designed it exactly how we want it to look great very red very very YouTube so thank you guys for watching and bye for now